Cubs hosting the Reds. The Reds are minus 124 on the money line. The Cubs are plus 104. The over-under is seven runs. The Reds laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Cubs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 175, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And I'm going to check the weather to see if today, tomorrow is supposed to be as incredibly windy as it was supposed to be today. 71 degrees, 20 mile an hour winds blowing in, so yes it will be, and an 11% chance of rain. Green has pitched twice against the Cubs this year. Six and two thirds, four runs, four earned. They won eight, four, he struck out eight. Six innings, five runs, five earned. They lost seven, five. That was in Chicago, he struck out five. Killian did not pitch against the Reds last year or this year. Head to head, the Reds are six and four, but the Cubs have won the last three games they've played against each other. The home team is on a two game winning streak. The favorite is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is six and four on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There have been three one-run games in their last ten meetings. The unders hit in their last two. The under is seven, two, and one. At seven runs, we've had one, two, three, four. The under is uh five, five, three, and two. And then as far as the home team is concerned, one, two, three. The home team is 5-5 five and five in their last 10 meetings against each other. The Reds are 3-2 and two in Green's last five starts, 5 and two-thirds innings pitched, three hits, one earned run, 6.6 strikeouts, 1.2 walks, 0.4 home runs. He's given up home runs and back-to-back -back starts. 91.8 pitches per game, 15.8 pitches per inning. And I'm not sure if Killian is a normal member of the rotation for the Cubs. I don't think that he is. I think this is kind of just kind of going to be a spot start because the season's pretty much all but done for both of these teams. The Reds are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. They're on a five-game losing streak, and I don't imagine that they want to go out like that. Uh, seven runs, seven runs, one run, three runs. One run and a loss, two runs and a loss, and then back-to-back -back games that the Cubs shut them out. For the Cubs, they're 3-1 and one in their last four. 14 runs, 15 runs, one run, three runs. 10 runs and a win, 6 runs and a loss, 1 run and a win, and then 3 runs and a win. I'm going to take the Reds with the money line. I will take the Reds laying the runs in this one, and I'm going to go under because of the wind. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.